Functional Athletics fitness experience. We hope you guys have enjoyed the first two home wads that we sent your way. Wad number one, we destroyed your legs. Wad number two, juicy pecs and boulder shoulders. My arms are fried. So today, we're gonna take you guys through another home workout, but because everything is tired, we're gonna just work everything. We're gonna, it's a fun cardio day, as Sean always likes to put it. So we're just gonna take you guys through, like always, the warm up, the wad itself. We've got two parts, and then afterwards, we'll take you guys through the movements. All right, Sean, take it away. All right, so, yep, like Mike was saying, it's a fun cardio day, full body cardiovascular entertainment for you today. What we're gonna be looking at for our warm up, we're gonna be starting with a 400 meter run if you don't have access to running. Again, something that is gonna raise our rate and take you about two minutes to complete. After that, we're gonna move into 30 air squats, 10 burpees, 30 uh, reverse lunges, just alternating sides, no weight or anything like that. Then 10 burpees, and then 30 single arm deadlifts. So for that movement, you're gonna be using whatever uh, piece of equipment you have, either your kettlebell or your dumbbell, whichever one it is that you have. And we're just gonna be setting up, having it between our legs, single arm one side, down, alternate to the other side. 30 reps of that, okay? After that, we have two workouts for you today. Workout number one, this one's four time. You start with a 400 meter run, it's supposed to be nice weather tomorrow, so try and get outside and uh, do, do work out outside. Just stay the hell away from people. Alright? Uh, but, again, if you're not going to be able to get outside, get to a field or anything like that, something that's going to raise the heart rate take you about two minutes. By the way, by tomorrow, he meant Wednesday. So we're making this video on Tuesday. You're going to see it on Wednesday. Anyways, 400 meter run. Then, 30 burpee devil's press. So we only, we're going to be using one arm, so you do burpee. Pressed overhead. So 30 burpee devil's press, alternating uh, sides, or you can do half on one side, half on the other side. That's up to you. After you do your 30, 25 full crunches. Then we go back to our devil's press. We do 20 reps on the devil's press, another 25 full crunches, and then 10 reps on our devil's press, another 25 full crunches. After you've finished all three rounds of your devil's press and full crunches, you have a cash out of another 400 meter run. After you complete that run, you have five minute break before you go into workout number two. So just remember guys, you're only running twice in this wad, okay? Just in the beginning, you do all this stuff in the middle, and you'll run again at the end. All right, workout number two. Again, this one's four time. We start with a three round couplet of 25 thrusters with either your kettlebell or dumbbell. We'll be going through a little bit of the form on that after. Uh, it's a little different than what we would normally do. So you do your 25 thrusters and then 20 power cleans. That's 10 power cleans one side, 10 on the other side for a total of 20. You do that for three rounds, back and forth. After you complete three rounds of the couplet, then you go into 75 sit-ups. Bottoms feet together, knees out, lay back, test floor, sit up, touch your feet. After your 75 sit-ups, then we go into another three round couplet. This one is 25 goblet squats, holding either your kettlebell or dumbbell, and 20 dumbbell or kettlebell swings, okay? Three rounds of that, and then you've completed your workout, okay? So we're gonna uh, get set up and we'll take you through how we're looking for each of the movements to be done and different scaling options. All right, see you in just a second. All right, guys, so just taking you through some of the movements we're gonna be doing, looking at our warm up. Uh, the run, 400 meter run, or something that's going to get your heart rate up in about two minutes. After that, 30 air squats. So on our air squats, we're looking for quality squats. Don't rush these, try and make them good squats. Still, always good to practice, good form. So thinking about the knees out, even pressure on the feet, tall chest. After that, 10 burpees. I think we're all pretty good at burpees by now. <laughs> After our burpees, 30 alternating reverse lunges. So just stepping back, make sure that knee comes right down to the floor, tall chest front heel on the floor. After that, another 10 burpees, and then 30 single arm deadlifts, okay? So you're gonna set up in this stance, drop the butt down, tall chest, down, grab the weight, alternate, and then other side. This is just prepping us for moving our dumbbell later on when we're doing our snatch, stuff like that, okay? That's our warm up. After that, workout number one. Again, we're looking at 400 meter run to start, or Good, decent substitute, and then after that, 30 
devil's press, okay? So we're going to be doing single arm devil's press. So you start your devil's press by going down and doing a burpee on your dumbbell, then jump his feet forward, swing back through his legs, and then to overhead. All right, so it's a burpee into a snatch. You can switch hands in the air if you're comfortable with doing that, or you can take the dumbbell down to the floor, switch hands on the floor, and go into your rep. Alright, so that is our Burpees Devil's Press. If, if you guys are doing this with a kettlebell, I should just show you that quickly. A little bit safer way to do this, obviously, is I'm not going to keep my hand on the kettlebell when I go down for the burpee. So I go down for my burpee beside it. As you jump forward, grab your kettlebell, pull back and through, and then up to overhead. Back down, switch sides, burpee beside, pull back and through, up and overhead. Now if you do have a kettlebell that's a little heavy for you to be doing the full snatch with, what you can substitute in as a scaled option of that is doing your burpee, jumping your feet forward, and then swinging through, and then up, and then back down. So just taking it into a kettlebell swing versus an entire snatch if the kettlebell is a little heavy for you. Alright, after you do your set of 30 devil's press, then we do 25 full crunches. So we're going to have the feet elevated the whole time. He's going to bring the knees towards the chest as he sits up. So you do 25 reps on our full crunch. Then we go back for 20 reps of our devil's press, then another 25, and then 10 reps on our devil's press, followed by another 25. Okay, then we have our cash out of our 400 meter run or substitute. We have a five minute rest, and then we go into workout number two. For workout number two, 25 thrusters. Now, if you are doing this with a dumbbell, you're going to start by bringing your dumbbell up. Now, we're holding either end of the dumbbell instead of just going single arm. So he's going to drop down into his squat, going to seal sound, drop it up, try to press that dumbbell to overhead. Back down and up to overhead. Okay? That's how we're going to be doing it if we have a dumbbell. If you have a kettlebell, we're going to have our kettlebell sideways, the ball in one hand, the handle in the other, he's going to squat, press it overhead. He'll do half his reps with a dumbbell oriented like this. Then he will switch sides so that the uh, handle's in the other hand and do the other half of the reps this way. All right, it's the safest way we've found to hold the kettlebell for these thrusters. Don't worry about how to do it, you're gonna keep it in your hand. 25 thrusters and then 20 power cleans, all right? So this is done uh, 10 on one side, then 10 on the other side. With a dumbbell, going down to the floor, up to your shoulder. Both heads of the dumbbell touch the floor, elbow pointed forward in our power plane. Okay? So he does half the reps on one side, half the reps on the other side. Okay? In the event of the kettlebell, we're going to go to the floor and then try and catch it just in the crook of the elbow there, and then back down to the floor, just into the elbow. Okay? Again, half on one side, then half on the other side. After he does his three rounds of that, then he does 75 sit-ups. For our sit-ups, bombs the feet together, knees out, he's going to lean back, touch the floor, sit up, touch his feet. Alright, so it's 75 sit-ups straight. After you complete your 75 sit-ups, then we finish with another three rounds. This time we are going to be doing goblet squats and swings with either our dumbbell or kettlebell. So, goblet squats. We're we'll holding our dumbbell up against our chest, again dropping down, tall chest, and standing up. Okay? Just to show you the swing, just going from the goblet squat into the swing, if you're doing a swing with a dumbbell, you're going to hold it like this. Okay? So you'll hold the one head of the dumbbell, squeeze between your hands. With the dumbbell, we only want you guys going to face height. It's the safest way to do it. Just because it's a little bit harder to hold this end, we don't want you going overhead. So from here, swing, squeeze my butt. Get my hips all the way open, bring it right up and face height. Alright, and then swings with a kettlebell. If you're using a kettlebell, we do want you to go all the way up and overhead. So this is American style kettlebell swings. Through the legs, finishing up overhead. And a goblet squats would just be hold the ball of the kettlebell, grip down, these are the squats. Alright, and that is workout number two. Alright, so enjoy your fun cardio day, guys. Yeah, it's supposed to be sunny.
Got a video coming your way. I did this workout today. It was really hard. I did it with an 80 pound dumbbell and I paid for every part of that. So enjoy guys. We'll see you next time.